is Susie Lorenzo and welcome to my first 360 video on my blog, Cherishing Now. Let's take a walk over here. 360 video for all you Cherishing Nowers out there. Okay, so most people would have a smartphone these days that can watch 360 videos on through Facebook, even the YouTube app. Yep, this is my friend Alex Rodriguez and he's gonna be helping us make fresh pasta from scratch. So what we need is one cup flour. That's one cup flour and one for you. Two free range eggs, two tablespoons of olive oil, a dash of salt and pepper, and two liters of boiling water for your pasta. Utensils that we need, mm -hmm. fork, yep. sheet of plastic, one sheet of plastic, rolling pin, one rolling pin, <laughs> a knife, one knife, and most importantly, a big large pot and a strainer. So the first step is to make the well. Make sure and the flour. that it's big enough to hold Definitely. The, your egg yolk. And yeah. then we add two eggs inside. First egg. A. That's one knife. Also add a bit of olive oil. Thank you. And then... And also just a bit of salt. And if you want a dash of pepper, you're into spicy. Slowly move the flour from the sides. Yep, so we keep doing this until we reach like a breadcrumb-like texture. In this, in this exercise, I think flour is your friend, so don't be shy. Definitely don't be shy with the flour. So you want to get the texture tight and resilient. You can even give it a little slap. So on to step three, which is plastic wrap. Why is this stuck on? <laughs> oh, yeah. It is cling wrap. Yeah. You place your dough balls into the plastic wrap. And then you cover it, you wrap it nice and tight. And then <laughs> sit in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. And here's a magic trick. Boom, 30 minutes passed, and on to our next step, which is? Rolling. What do you think? Do you want me to? Yeah, have a go, why not? Actually, like, right, Sharing is caring in the kitchen, Oh so. my goodness. <laughs> it's not, it's not gonna get out. Stop We're cutting. in trouble. Sometimes these don't come out how you want it. Bruh. So the setting time is very, very important yeah. when it comes to the dough. Because if it's too early, it might be a bit sticky. It's alright, we'll just keep moving on. Thank you, still, Abby. It still tastes the same, don't worry, Susie. Thank you for that. You're a lifesaver. Don't be shy with the flour, too. As you said, get it on. Okay, now that you've flattened out, your dough on step five, which is cutting. Cutting. So you can so put the bit. sliced strips in a bowl. And your strips don't have to be perfect. You know, do what you can or do what you want. Not everything can be perfect, like me. <laughs> Alright, so our water is boiling. Mm -hmm. So for flavor, just add a bit of salt. bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick. And since it's fresh, you only need three minutes to boil, so don't overcook it. Mm. Okay, so we pre-made a tomato-based sauce earlier, yeah. so I'll just add that to it. Okay, start mixing it a bit. Now time to add some parmesan cheese. Oh, yeah. And boom, you are done. How is it? So thank you for tuning in to our first 360 video on my blog, Cherishing Now. 
I'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. See you guys. Camera phone.